Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. It's Kalisha Good Channel. In case it's your first time in this channel, thank you for stopping by. So, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I prepared my vegetable sauce and tilapia fish. And this is my yam, it's been sliced. And the fish I have washed before, but I'm gonna wash again. So I'm not gonna be needing the head, so I'm just gonna take it aside while I go over to the yam section and start peeling. So you see the yam have already been sliced and it's more easier to peel it this way. So guys, after peeling, I had to wash the yam thoroughly. So this is my yam washed. So I'm just gonna set it aside while I add some salt to my water on the fire because I already have my water on the fire. So I'm gonna add some salt to it and cover it and allow it to heat up a little. So guys, here is it. It's time to add the yam. You can see the water is almost at boiling point. So I'm just gonna add the yams. After adding, I'll cover it and leave it to cook while I go over to introduce my ingredients to you. And here is my sliced fish, sliced pepper, sliced vegetables and sliced onions. And this is the tomatoes I'm going to be cooking with. Do not mind this here. And here is my seasoning that I'm going to be seasoning the fish with. And this is my seasoning cube for the sauce and my sauce. So I'm just gonna take out some of this seasoning and put on the plate. So I will just go ahead and rub it on the sliced fish one after the other. So guys, you have to be very careful while doing this because of the excess bone on the fish. So I have my oil on the fire already because I had to leave 
it to heat up a little bit. So I just go ahead now and add the fish to the pan one after the other. So I just had to make sure everything goes in at once because I couldn't imagine coming back to fry just one piece of fish. So right now I have to go over to the other section which is turning on the gas and putting my pot on the fire. So I'll allow it to dry up a little bit before adding my oil to it. So it's right now, I need to add some oil, some granite oil to the pots. So I just added a little bit because I don't like having too much oil on my food. So it depends on what you want. If you are the type that love oil, you can add extra. But for me, this one is just perfect. So I'm gonna leave it to heat up a little. So right now, I'm going to be adding some sliced onions. And I'll be leaving this one for later use. Now, I love to always fry my onions before adding tomatoes to the oil so that's why I'm doing this I love the aroma that always comes out of it so I'm just gonna stir a little before adding my tomatoes so it's time to add the tomatoes to the oil And I'll be adding my fresh pepper to it as well. So after adding, I'll just go ahead and stir it very well and leave it to cook for a while before coming back to add the seasoning, peel and salt. So let's see how our fish is doing. Okay, I think I'll still have to leave it for a little while because I love my fish very dried and you can see this still look a bit fresh so I'll just give it a little time to fry while I go over to see what my yam is doing. Wow. So guys, you can see the yam is cooked, it's been a while, yeah, it's very soft, so I'll just have to cover and sieve out the water and keep it aside. I just have to make sure the cover was tight so that I will not end up pouring my yam in the sink. Okay, so right now I have to change my sauce to a bigger burner so that it will make my cooking very fast. Okay, so it's time to turn the fish. You know, you can see this side is very dried. Men looking at it, you are going to see that it's already very dried. So right now we have to just turn it to the other side and also leave it there for a while to get dried too.
Okay, so right now I'm gonna be adding my seasoning cube to my sauce. And I'm gonna be adding a little salt as well. So here is my salt. So I'm gonna give it a good stir. A very good stir. And leave it to cook again for a while before coming to add my vegetables to it. So right now, I'm gonna be adding my remaining onions to the sauce. Stir it and leave it to cook for a while before adding my vegetable to it. Okay, my fish is all dried now, so it's time to remove it from the oil and keep it aside while we wait for our sauce to get steamed a little. Okay, so I'm gonna be adding my vegetables to the sauce. After adding, I'm gonna give it a good stir. I'll stir it very well and leave it on the fire to Cook a little, you know it's veggies so you don't have to allow it to get overcooked. Okay, so this is it guys. So I'm just gonna be stirring it a little bit more. Now it's time to add the fish to it, the fried tilapia fish. So right now I'm going to stir it very gently. Okay, so I'm gonna allow this to cook for like two minutes to enable the taste soak into the fish properly. It's two minutes alright guys. So this is the outcome of our vegetable sauce and tilapia fish. I hope you enjoyed watching. So I have to leave you guys here, but before I go, I just want to say a big thanks to my returning subscribers for always coming back to check out my videos and to my new subscribers, thank you so much for coming around. So please don't forget to leave a beautiful comment at the comment section below and also leave your girl with it a thumbs up. So we'll meet again in my next video, bye and God bless you, bye.